I'm Jessica Got It. Then this is your Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with Mark Ronchetti. Well, Jess, we're looking at a storm coming in from the west. We also have a cold front coming in from the east. So that'll favor northeastern New Mexico for most of the cold air and the possibility of rain and snow. Snow over about 9,000 feet, scattered rain showers below that area through early Wednesday. And then as the storm starts to exit, the chance of showers is reduced across the northeast later on into the day Wednesday. Thursday, we'll see temperatures rise up a bit. And as we work into Friday, temps will continue to warm, but winds will pick up as well. The mystery deepens surrounding the body found inside a burning car Friday night near an Albuquerque Walmart. The body was found inside the trunk of the car shortly after firefighters put the fire out behind the Walmart and Coors and I-40. Yesterday, police said the body appears to be that of a woman less than 50 years old. And they also released a picture of this woman, 33-year-old Guadalupe, Guadalupe Lopez, a missing woman with a possible connection to the burning car. APD said today, though, after locating Lopez and interviewing her, she is not connected in any way to the incident. The Office of the Medical Investigator is still trying to identify the victim. Police are obviously handling the case as a homicide. City officials say they're confident a problem that hasn't gone away will go away soon. This house on Lexington Northeast has been the scene of a string of fires, including one where an elderly woman was found dead. Repeated attempts at demolishing the home have failed. The Safe City Strike Force kept it, eventually getting the City Council and a District Court judge involved. Today, the director of the Safe City Strike Force told us he was picking up a judge's order to keep the property owner from interfering with the demolition process. The house could go down as early as tomorrow. Join us for more news tonight at 10.